Hi Pisces, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what is your current love situation? What is your current love situation? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at your energy with these top three cards. This is going to represent your energy and your current feelings for whoever it is that you're dealing with in love. And the bottom three cards here are going to represent the energy of whoever it is that you're dealing with in love, their, their energy and their current feelings for you. Now, just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel and subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. All right, Pisces, so let's get started with your energy here first. We have here Eight of Swords upright. The Death card in Reverse. And the Hermit card in Reverse. So you're definitely feeling trapped here, Pisces. Um, mentally, you feel conflicted. Um, you're not sure what to do in regards to a certain situation. You're not sure what actions to take. You're not sure what to think. It's like you have a lot of different ideas and thoughts in your head and they're all clashing, you know. You feel pressured. You feel like your hands are tied. You feel like there's something that's not in your control. You're lacking perspective. You're too emotionally involved in a situation, like you can't see clearly or think clearly. The death card in reverse, I feel like you, you're avoiding an ending here, um, or you're trying to run away from an ending, or let's just say like you're, you're being resistant. You're putting resistance towards a, a specific ending here. And the Hermit card in reverse. Um, it's like you're looking for guidance. You're looking for, for help here. It's like you, you lack the wisdom. It's like you need some wisdom to know, to help you figure out what are you supposed to do or, you know, what is the right decision to make? It's like you want to you want to make the right decision. You want to make the right decision, okay? I also feel like you want to be fair. Yeah. You want to be fair to yourself and you want to be fair to other people. You're searching for that star here. This The Hermit card has a star here, um, which represents um, clarity, um, wisdom. It represents wish fulfillment. Um, you're looking for that light at the end of the tunnel. You know, because right now you're in the dark and it's like you just need a little bit of a, a light. To, or like a sign. It's like you need a sign. Let me look at the bottom of this deck here. Or the top. Knight of Cups in reverse. Emotionally um, repressing your feelings here. You're repressing your feelings. Queen of Wands upright. You're pretending here. You're trying to pretend that you're okay, you're doing okay. Seven of Swords in, in the upright position. Yeah, this is again pretending. Mm. Pretending, you're pretending something doesn't hurt you when it does hurt you, you know. Or maybe you're just trying to, you know, you're pretending so that you can... 
you know, keep yourself afloat emotionally. I do feel like there's there's something in regards to love here that is really um, causing you pain here. Um, I feel like there's somebody that you want to be with here with the Knight of Cups. Um, you really miss this person or... Yeah, you, there's distance between you and somebody that you love and it's like... You're trying to keep it together with the Queen of Wands. Um, but the Seven of Swords does show that inside you are affected and um, conflicted. Alright, let's look at your person's energy. What's going on with them? We have here the Nine of Swords of Right. Oh, they, they're also conflicted, Pisces. They're also going through this mental agony, mental stress here. Ace of Wands in reverse. And the star upright. Okay, Pisces. So this person is definitely... Um, I feel like this person is scared to lose you. With the Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, they feel like this is a missed opportunity. Um, this person has a lot of passion... They feel very passionate about you. They they feel very attracted to you. Um, I feel like this person wants to be with you just as much as you want to be with them, you know? And it's like... They're hoping here with the star card. They're hoping that... That the situation between you two will improve. They're hoping that they won't lose you. Look at the star here. There's a star here and um, there's also a star here in the Hermit card reverse, which is your card. So, you know, this is the star that you're looking for here. So I do feel like this person, um, for some of you, this person is meant to be with you. Like you two are destined partners. Um, Destiny is trying to bring you two together. Um, this might be a soulmate here that you're dealing with, and it's like you're separated from this person, but you don't want to be, and they don't want to be separated either. So I'm not sure what the problem. Actually, we do have here here the Four of Wands. They want to have a stable relationship with you. They want to have a happy home with you, a happy family, a happy marriage with you. Okay. Yeah, they're completely um, obsessed with you, I feel, but in a good way, you know. They just, they're very passionate about you. They might feel like you've, they might be feeling like you've given up on them, like you've given up on this relationship. And the Queen of Cups upright, they're hurting emotionally, they're, they miss you, um, they feel depressed without you. Um, they can't stop thinking about you, um, and their heart wants to be with you, you know. They, they have a lot of love for you here, and they want to have this balanced relationship with you. They want to have an equal 50-50 relationship with you, and they want to work on this. But it's like somebody has to either apologize this can represent an apology. It's like either you have to apologize or they have to apologize. Or just someone has to has to make the first step. Someone has to take the first step. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's just go ahead and clarify these cards here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Eight of Swords upright in regards to your energy. Let's 
Spirit, please clarify Eight of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. And we have here the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So you feel like there's unfinished business here between you two, or um, this can represent an ending that you're avoiding. You don't want this to end. You're, you're also scared that things might end between you two, like for good. You feel like there's still a lot that you two haven't done together. Um, like there's still a lot that you want to do with this person. All right, let's clarify the Hermit card in reverse. Again, Ten of Swords in reverse. Oh my God. This is, again, the same message. This is an ending that you're avoiding um, again, you're, you don't feel ready for, for this ending, you know, your heart is still attached, like emotionally, you're still attached, you still have love. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Nine of Swords in regards to your person's energy. Spirit, clarify Nine of Swords. Thank you. We have here the Hierophant upright. This represents a marriage or a commitment. For some of you, you two, this person is married to you. And this person is scared that you two are going to have a divorce or a separation or breakup like a, a final breakup or a final separation because I do feel like you are kind of separated here um, but yeah I feel like this person they, they don't want to lose the, their commitment with you or the potential of a commitment with you all right, let's clarify the Ace of Wands in reverse. We have here the Eight of Cups upright. Yeah, it's the same um, message. This person feels like they're scared that they they've missed an opportunity with you they they're scared that this is going to be a missed opportunity um they're scared that you're going to walk away from them with the eight of cups and that you're going to abandon them but with the star card it's like they're hopeful yeah they're hopeful that things are going to get fixed between you two Let's clarify the star. Last card here. Spirit, clarify the star. Thank you. Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person wants success. This is a card of victory and success. Um, so this person wants to have success with you. They want this relationship to be victorious. They want it. They want this relationship to um, um, you know get get through the obstacles and the challenges. Um, they want this relationship to persevere. That's what I'm trying to say. To and to and to push forward. Yeah, they want this relationship to grow and to progress. A lot of passion again very passionate energy they have a lot of passion for you and they're holding on to that passion and they're and they're hoping that you feel the same way 
All right, Pisces, so I'm going to end the reading here. That's everything I'm seeing here, so let me know if any of this resonated with you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel to, pro to promote the video and to circulate the video. I'd really appreciate it, and of course, also subscribe. I'd appreciate that too, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Pisces.